the last video we talked about this right here, this image and ISO 20,022. So I'm about to click on the source right here. And I'm going to show you guys. Uh, well, let's, we're going to go down the rabbit hole together. Uh, so the I wanted to show you the XML write-up, which is the standard uh, 20,022. Um, and I found an image right here by clicking on that source. So essentially, this is what ISO 20,022 is. It's a standard messaging system. Uh, XML write-up is what they call it. And this is Swift, uh, so the, the old way, the proprietary way, I think they might even consider it, which I'll show you in, in a second what, the, what that gets into. So it talks about the essentially who it's going, going to, the name. This one in, is KPMG International. And then their address, the street name, the building number, the postcode, uh, the town, and then the country. So it's pretty straightforward, uh, but then I, I saw this right here, and um, and then I read about it to see what it said. So you can pause this if you want to look at it, or just go to the link below in the description and, and read it for yourself. So uh, where is it? Only the main traded currencies, the dollar and the British pound, are still relying on proprietary messages and SWIFT MT within their high-value payment systems. The big shift towards a standardized network will eventually occur with the migration of these market infrastructures. Europe, as of 2021, in the coming years, 2021 to 2025, two dozen high-value payment systems will adopt ISO 20022. According to SWIFT, the usage of ISO 20022 will represent 79% of the world's high-value payment volume of settled payments today, and respectively 87% in terms of value at the end of migration announced by high-value payment systems. So America is operating on a proprietary system, and that's probably why they're having a big lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC because, well, Ripple uses XRP and the XRP Ledger, which is the XML ISO 20,022 compliant, and America isn't yet. And so they probably need to, you know, figure out how they're going to adopt ISO 20,022 and whether or not that's going to be a security based off of how the uh, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson handled their raising of funds and so here's the benefits oh this is ISO 20,022 and this is non-standardized so like SWIFT uh, the standard would be open access universal system consensus about, about message standards global message guidelines so it's clear it's, it's straightforward the, the global know-how the global Real-time gross settlement payments will know how to communicate with the receiver and the sender of the, of the value, moving value. Whereas SWIFT is proprietary access. You need, you need to be registered to use the system. Uh, XRPL, ISO 20,022, that's, it's decentralized. You know, it, Swift message standards imposed are by the system and only by the system, so it's centralized, and they only have the local message guidelines. And that's it. That's all I want to show you. Check out this next video. We'll go down the more further the further down the rabbit hole.